What is up, you damn gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful gamers? Welcome back to role playing games. This is Mary Alcana. In the internet, where we like to discuss about RPGs. So, Outward, it's a very, very challenging game. Especially if you're new to the game, if you're just starting out, you don't know what to do. So, in this guide, I am going to show you how to get a very early armor set. And when I mean early, I mean like just at the very, very, very beginning of the game. Now, Someone might tell you that this is not the best possible armor set, but let me tell you I know that resistances are a thing, I know that weather is a thing, there's a whole lot of stuff that needs to be taken care of But do not let anyone tell you that this is not efficient, that this is not viable <laughs> Because this is the very first armor set that I used, I personally as a person, I know that it's not the best thing out there, but me personally when I played this for the very first time, this is what I used. It's a cool looking armor set and it has a bunch of resistances and you can get it like at the beginning of the game. So essentially, uh, what you're gonna want to do is go to bed, wait until nightfall, and then we'll wait a little bit. I will be silent a little bit as well while I show you through how you get to the place where you're going to farm this specific armor set. It does require quite a lot of farming, but it's not nothing like out of this world. So you're going to head out from Siaso right here over to Chernis. Ch Chernis. Ch Chersonis. I think. Anyways. And then I am going to be a little silent in here. I am going to be fast forward. Uh, <laughs> I will fast forward the video a little bit if you feel like this thing is going too fast you can feel free to slow it down but uh, then I'll see you in a bit So once you get to this place, this is where you are going to farm everything that you need for the armor set. Uh, you want to come out here at night because it's easier to spot the places that you need to farm. I also wouldn't recommend for you to fight this little enemies that you have right there. You can pretty much run past them, but this is the very first one that you're going to gather. As you can see right there, I got some blue sand. That is the specific regent crafting uh, material. Uh, be sure to be looking at that thing as well while well, she's chasing you because she's she's a goddamn sniper. So do be aware of that. But essentially, what you have to do is just run all the way, all this way through the beach, and um, sometimes there will be. I believe that I should have run into another one right now let me see if i can spot another one but yeah this is basically uh everything that you have to do so far to get the materials do not fast forward the video yet uh there are some other places where you can farm this thing uh especially it's it's on this beach so just be mindful of that but ideally run all the way there through the coast and you will get three farming places i believe that this one right here this is the second i am not going to, for for sake purposes of the video i am not going to go all the way there but right there in the distance there's another gathering point and in that gathering point you will be able to get another blue sand to be mindful that blue sand is um, 
is random. Let me place my cold equipment or not. You know what? Or not. I'm too heavy. Anyways, I got a cold. Uh, the blue sand. It's going to be random. Uh, were runs where I was able to get eight blue sands, like in just one single run. Sometimes you will get two, sometimes you will get three out of the crafting spots. And uh, that is important because you need ten of them, if my memory serves me well. And if not, I'll tell you in a, in a bit how many of them do you need. But uh, you need a whole lot of blue sand. So, do be mindful of that. Right now, I am not positively sure about how much days, how many days do you have to rest for them to mm, respawn. I've seen people saying that the respawn gathering spots take one day to rest before they are resetted. Um, I personally like to rest three days because I have been very very uh, unlucky when I rest just one day so do be mindful of that this is the next place that we want to visit remember through the coast do not stop where I stopped once you go all the way through the entire coast and right here we're going to drop down right here this is a gathering spot. It's not that noticeable because of my lantern, but uh, there you have it. I believe that there's another one right here. They are very hard to spot in this cave. They do not are they are not as flashy as they are out there. So be mindful of that. And then there's a third one right here. I've already killed it. And this specific beast, I believe that it does, it does not respond. Ah, yeah, there it is. Do not, do not pay attention to those things. Those things are going to kill you. But essentially, you have three gathering spots that you can visit. And then I'll see you over at Sierso to tell you what is the next step that we need to take. So, now that we are back on Sierso, you will notice right here that I was able to get uh, six blue sands. Uh, that is... It's also worth notice, it, worth mentioning that I did not go through the entire run of the beach, so this could potentially be seven or eight. Like I mentioned, you are going to need ten. Come to Loud Hammer, and then give him like three for the helmet, five for the armor, two for the boots, but you also need eight hundred and fifty silver. I know that you're just starting out, that you don't have any money for that, but uh, there used to be a better method for, for, for you to gather money when you were just starting out the game. If you really want this, you're going to have to do the glitch. What is the glitch? This one right here. You start split screen, you need a second controller, place new game, create the character, drop all of your money, St uh, stop split, rinse and repeat. Uh, do not take the money uh, immediately, just stack them, stack them up right there. I promise you, you have to do this like this process 30 times to be able to complete the armor set, to get the money for the armor set 30 times, which is roughly going to take you 20 minutes. 20 minutes, that's what it took me. Before, there used to be a better method to get early money. It was Patch, the crafting and selling potions, selling magic astral potions. That is not possible to do anymore. Uh, but uh, like I said, just 20 minutes of just farming gold. It's kind of boring, I know. But if you don't actually want to do it that way, then just get out there and explore. Explore and sell stuff. Uh, if you don't have a second controller. But there's that. So, like I said, this armor carried me through the entirety of the game on my first playthrough. So I hope that you find this video informative. Stay tuned since I do plan to make more guides and uh, tips and tricks for Outboard. I know it's a very, very punishing game, unforgivable, uh, unforgiving game. So 
Uh, yeah, that is that. Remember that uh, if no one has told you today that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you're indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. Remember to like the video, subscribe before you close the door. Now we see you got them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.